So I'm here at getbootstrap.com. Top menu, I'm going to click on examples. There's a ton of great components here. One of them is the album. So I'm going to custom components, I'm just going to click on album. This looks pretty much like the album that we want to create. I'm going to right click on it, view page source. I'm going to copy all, control A, control C. Go back to my home, I'm going to delete, delete everything. I'm going to paste in everything from the Django, or so the Bootstrap template. Saved it. And then this is the local host. I'm going to reload it. We now have some of the template, although because we didn't configure Bootstrap, we have to uh, enable Bootstrap now. To enable Bootstrap, let's go back to the main getbootstrap.com page. There's this button download. Let's click on the download. There's this section for Bootstrap CDN. Copy the first one. This is home.html. This is the the header where it has the bootstrap CSS. I just deleted the existing one and I'm pasting in the one that we just got uh, from the site. I'm going to cut the script. I'm going to put it down below the right above the last body tag. Well, it's actually in the footer. So I have jQuery, looks like it was already there. Right below that I have the bootstrap script. And the site also sits at this popper. So the first script, the order is important, is jQuery. Under that, I have a Bootstrap. Oh, I should. Have. Popper and then Bootstrap. So now I have the base album example template that's running off of Django. So 
under the H1, for the Jumbotron heading, I'm going to call that 360 image gallery. And there's a description here. So the section is this uh, lead muted class in paragraph. So let's add some type of description. I just change the heading and subhead. I'm going to reload it. So now it's a 360 image gallery. Click on the images to move them or turn their head in a headset. So now we're going to look at fixing this album a bit more um, and also pulling all of these images from a database so that we don't have to manually insert each of these images. That would be pretty tedious.